What's up guys, JV2017 here bringing you the very last of my Destiny pre-release content because tomorrow the game comes out, actually at midnight, which is less than 8 hours from now, from the time that I am recording this. So anyways guys, I got a bunch of awesome information for you all today about endgame content. That's what we're talking about today, all about what you do when you reach maximum level. What is the maximum level? How do you get to it? All of this stuff will be covered in this video. So let's start off. What do you do when you hit max level? Well, first off, we need to define what max level is. So first off, from my understanding and from all the research that I have done, the level cap is set at level 20. However, once you get to level 20, now it is your job to gear up and you can earn what are called light levels. And this is what people are talking about. A lot of people think the level cap is actually 30, and it is, but it's it's different. And I'm gonna explain it to you guys here. So light levels are level 21 to 30. And light levels are actually determined by your gear. So I'm not sure exactly how Destiny and Bungie, like internally, how they calculate how good your gear is. Like, I don't understand, um, you know, what determines how good your gear is and makes your light level go up. Specifically, like mathematically, I'm not sure about that, but I do know as you get better gear, that is what levels you up from 21 to 30. So keep in mind though that experience still does matter. So you still want to earn XP because your weapons and armor also have levels and you're going to be replacing your armor. You're not gonna be using the same armor and weapons the entire time in Destiny. Of course, that wouldn't be fun. It would defeat the purpose of this RPG. So what you do is you get all of this new gear all the time, and as you level up, you unlock certain different things about the weapon and the gear, certain bonuses that may benefit your class or your subclass. So that's why experience still matters, and you can get experience through running bounties, strikes, and some of the other things that I'm about to talk about. So again, what is the point of the end game? Well, it's to gear up and become more powerful. Very simply, that's what Destiny says on their own website. It's to gear yourself up, become more powerful, and take on new challenges. They want to challenge you in this game, and, you know, that's what they're going to do as you gear up and as you get into the end game content. Now, so for pretty much the icing on the cake, instead of just running, you know, typical old strikes all day long, what they're gonna do is when you hit level 20, you unlock heroic strikes. And so heroic strikes are basically, they are a higher difficulty than normal strikes. You know, that, that makes a lot of sense, right? Higher difficulty, and of course you can earn that new loot to make yourself more powerful, increase your light level, yada, yada, yada. And they include what are called modifiers. So for example, this is an example taken from the, again, Bungie website itself, there may be an arc light weapon modifier which increases the damage of arc light weapons by 300%. This seems like a good thing, however, what if they give the arc light weapons to all of the enemies that you're fighting in the strike? You know, that's a problem. That's going to make it much more difficult. So you're going to have to gear your entire, you know, fire team up and your squad for the heroic squad with arc light weapons so you're on the same, you know, level playing field with the enemies that you're fighting. So that's just an example of how a heroic strike is going to uh, kind of work out. And these heroic strikes, you're going to be able to uh, accept them through the bounty system. So if you guys remember bounties from the alpha and the beta, there's just someone sitting in the tower and they can offer you bounties. And there will be daily heroic strikes that you can complete every single day. There will be a new one and then it'll reset at the end of the day so you can start another one and weekly challenges. So my guess, of course, is that the weekly heroic strikes are gonna be much more difficult than the daily heroic strikes. Now on to raids. Well, I mentioned raids in my gameplay features and game modes video. However, I did not go in depth, and of course, raids are a big part of end game content in Destiny, so we are going to go in depth with raids right now. So they are six man challenges, and that's just how it is. You need six people to complete a raid. And quick note, 
there is no matchmaking in raids. You have to actually have friends. I know that sounds bad, but you need to have people that you actually have their uh, gamer tag or PSN ID, PlayStation Network name, whatever it is. You need to actually have them and invite them to your uh, fire team or squad or whatever it may be in order to complete a raid. There's no matchmaking tool like there is for strikes, which are three man. Just uh, heads up there. So the interesting thing with raids is there are no objectives. Literally, you just go in and you are expected to figure it out for yourself. And the reason Bungie did this is because they want it to be challenging. They don't want to uh, hold your hand in raids. These are supposed to be the most difficult thing in the game. So it really makes sense when you think about it that way. There are no waypoints or directions. So you are literally just plopped down there with your five other buddies trying to find out what to do. Uh, it kind of reminds me of trying to do a zombies Easter egg. And so hopefully it'll be uh, a fun little thing like that. And of course, Destiny, I'm sorry, Bungie expects for people to make, you know, strategy guides online about how to beat certain raids. And I expect to make those, which is kind of funny. When I read that, I was like, hey, I'm going to do that for you guys here on my channel. And of course, for the Heroic Strikes as well, I will be making guides, boss guides, just general, you know, tips and tricks about how to beat some of these really difficult, challenging encounters. I expect to make these videos on my channel. So that should be a lot of fun. Another thing to note with the raids is there are difficulty modes, just like Heroic Strikes. There's normal and hard. So hard is obviously going to be just more difficult to kill enemies. They hit you harder and they're going to have different little nuances. Uh, with them. So you'll have to tweak your character builds in order to take on some of those challenging raids in the game. So next up, what do you get from raids? You get raid loot. And the way Bungie explains it is there is a set, like, a set of items in raids that you can get. So there is a normal set of warlock gear that you can get by completing raids that's just really awesome. It'll increase your light level, it's just really awesome, really good gear. And then there is a hard difficulty set of raid gear for warlocks, hunters, titans, for every class. And so you wanna get these sets in order to increase your light level, become as powerful as you can be, and be able to conquer all of the most difficult, you know, end game content in Destiny. That's pretty much the plan there. So a little, few little things to add at the end of this video. First off, you can save your progress in raids. Like, I don't think you have to actively save. I think you can just leave the raid environment and come back because these raids are not meant necessarily to be beat in one sitting. I'm sure you could spend six hours trying to beat a raid in one sitting with your friends. That sounds like something I might do, to be honest. But uh, if you don't want to, you can just leave at any time and it will save your progress, which is really cool. It's really cool for people that don't, that are, you know, need flexibility with these challenges and still want to be challenged by the game. And also the raids have a weekly lockout schedule. So there will be weekly raids. And so you won't be able to complete more than one raid every single week, as far as I can tell. Maybe you can complete a normal raid and then a hard raid, uh, you know, normal and hard modes in one week. I'm not sure about that, can't confirm, but uh, be on the lookout for that because there will be one raid per week and there's the, the Tuesday. Tuesday is the day is what I'm trying to say for the raid lockout. And so it will reset every Tuesday. That's when you can get in on the new raid action. And so another thing, one more thing I wanna mention for you all, is you have to beat the normal raids in order to unlock the hard raids. That that makes sense, but I just wanted to clarify that with you all. So if you learned something new in this video, please leave me a little like button. I would really appreciate that. And also remember, this is your number one hub for Destiny content starting tomorrow. I'm gonna have a bunch of videos up tomorrow talking about Destiny for you guys. Bunch of content, bunch of tips and tricks. It will be on my channel tomorrow, so stay tuned and I will talk to you next time. Peace.